The U.S. is now condemning Israel's latest strikes in Gaza after tank shells tore through a United Nations school. That's become a refugee to war refu uh, a refuge rather for war refugees. Greta Cruz is monitoring the latest developments from our satellite center this evening. Greta. Leon, this is such a mess. The U.N. says this was the sixth school hit since the three-week uh, conflict began. And yet another ceasefire today came and went. Just before dawn, artillery pounded a school in Gaza, a school the U.N. was using to shelter displaced Palestinians. The attack left 17 dead, dozens hurt. Outraged U.N. investigators blamed Israel. We've looked at the debris, we've looked at some of the fragments, and we can say that this was Israeli artillery that hit this school. We had notified the Israeli army 17 times of the precise coordinates of this school because we wanted to protect it. But Israel says Hamas fired first. There was mortar fire fired right from next to the school. Um, there was an exchange of fire with our forces. Clearly it's a tragedy, but, but the IDF does not intentionally target UN premises. Israel then announced a four-hour humanitarian ceasefire, but Hamas never signed on, and the violence quickly resumed, this time at a crowded market in Gaza. People thinking a truce was in place tried to shop when Israel launched an airstrike, killing more than a dozen and injuring hundreds. The relentless fighting has left many Palestinians with nowhere safe to go. But Israel says it must destroy Hamas, a group that's vowed to destroy Israel. And today, the Israeli Air Force dropped leaflets, urging residents to report locations of Hamas tunnels and weapons stockpiles. And despite the rise in casualties and international criticism, a new poll out shows that more than 85 percent of Israeli Jews support the current offensive against Hamas and oppose any ceasefire. Live in the Satellite Center, Greta Cruz, ABC 7 News. Thank you, Greta.